Hello, my name is Janisha Baysmore. I am the owner and illustrator for Coco Twins. And I am here today to show you guys how to change the colors of your PNG files using both Paint 3D and Paint. Both softwares are by Microsoft, so you have to use a Microsoft based platform in order to perform this uh, color change. So let me go ahead and get started. I have two, I have both Paint and Paint 3D up. This is Paint 3D. Paint 3D has more options than Paint, of course, because it has a 3D after it, so you're able to work with 3D images, but we're gonna work with 2D flat images like the one we have on the screen. Now let's go ahead and go to just regular Paint, and regular Paint has this type of platform with, with less options. So whichever one you feel comfortable using, use that one. Um, they both perform the same tool or the same, um, same thing Let's see, so I wanna go ahead and change the colors. So I have my background is purple and my outline is black. Be aware that anything that has the same color, any line work that has the same color and it touches, that if you change the color of one thing, you're gonna change the color of the other. So if I wanted to change the color of the outline um, and say I didn't want this to be a part of it, then I could go ahead and select the eraser tool zoom in a little bit let's see where's my there we go and just erase it just a little bit just to just to remove the connection let's see let's undo i went too far so just something really quick to go through there and now that i have that if i wanted to change the color of the outline for the entire image i can so say if i wanted my outlines to be white I would select my color, select the paint bucket, and then select the outlines. Okay. And see if, for instance, I wanted that one to be a little different. So I want that one to be red, and maybe this one to be a gold. So, and see if I wanted this one to be green and then do the same thing again with the red just to and then maybe a gold okay now if i wanted to have the two pieces touching again since i removed it i would just have to take my pencil i'm sorry my pen and then i would just go ahead let me undo go ahead and pick the color again and just drag my mouse and then just go ahead and just put them together okay so if I wanted to, say if I didn't have this color and I needed the color, but I didn't know what it was and I didn't have it over here in my um, palette, then I can pick the dropper and then select the color and it will automatically change the color to whatever I select. So you don't have to know the colors. Um, you just have to go ahead or you don't have to have the colors available here. You could go ahead and select the dropper to um, sample any color that you have on the screen. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and change the cloud to maybe blue. And then, oh, so I got to select blue, the paint bucket, and then select the item. And I'm going to go ahead and do the hearts. Just change it to a different color. Let's undo. Okay, and I change this one to maybe red. Change this one to maybe red. And I change this one to maybe green. I don't know, make this white so it just looks like that. Or even go back and make them all white. I actually like this, the all white. And once I have that done, if I'm okay with it, I could do a file. So go back and select menu, then select save as, save as image. Make sure you save it as a 2D PNG file and give it a name, okay? Now this is Paint 3D. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing in Paint. So if I go into Paint, I have the image opened already. And I'm going to keep the heart and the cloud connected. And I'm going to go ahead and select my paint bucket. And I'm going to select my color. And I'm going to use it here. Let's see, in here. And here. Let's see, let's go with gold here 
here and let's go and then change nope let's undo change this to maybe red change them all to red maybe so whatever you choose to do the same thing that you did in paint 3d when you saved you want to select file save as png file you want to make sure that you save it as a png file so that way you retain your transparent background so i hope this quick tutorial um, will help you guys change the colors of your images on your own i know that some of you request that i do it but because i have such a heavy workload i'm not always able to get to it so i wanted to give you guys two tools that are microsoft based um, to get you started with changing your own colors and i hope this helped thank you so very much for watching my name is jamisha baysmore and i am the owner and illustrator for coco twins you can reach me on my website at www.cocotwins.com and you can also reach me by email by emailing info at cocotwins.com and coco is spelled c-o-c-o-a and twins is plural is spelled t-w-i-n-s so coco twins no spaces no dashes no nothing just cocotwins.com thank you guys so very much for watching and i look forward to working with you more take care